Hey, Terry, it's Jamal at uh, WCFA in Montgomery. What's the biggest uh, or the most important thing, I guess, going into this game against Army, um, I guess, discipline-wise? Hey, how you doing? Uh, it's like you just said right there, you know, it's really just discipline. I discipline uh, being patient, reading your keys, you know, looking at what you got to look at when you're a man, making sure you got your eyes on your guy. When you know you fit in the box, making sure you got your right key on your right uh, specific offensive lineman, a guy you're fitting off of, and just, you know, being physical and being fast when you do it, when you make a decision. Hey, Terry, this is John Johnson from the Dothan Eagle. Last couple of weeks, it really looks like the defense is starting to look a lot like the defense from last year. I mean, you were a part of last year's team. Does it feel that way that y'all get to the same, you know, I guess, point of the, you know, where y'all were last year right now? Do you feel like the same sort of defense? Uh, yes, sir. We're, uh, we're starting to jail more, you know, coming together as a unit. You know, a lot of us actually getting used to playing with each other and playing uh, big time minutes. But it's still a lot of stuff that we got to work on and got to improve on because we can be a whole lot better. As far as yourself uh, as a leader uh, this year, Terry, because with with Carlton leaving KJ, they were two big leaders at linebacker. How do you feel like now you've adapted into that role? I think I've uh, grown into it to a degree. You know, we got a lot of guys we can look up to, like Javon Solomon and Dale Pettis and Reddy and guys like that. I feel like I just try to continue, you know, to lead by the way that I plan, the way I perform, and the way I uh, execute my assignments, you know. Hey, it's Craig Stevens from Mayo.com. Uh, going up to Army, how big a uh, how much are you guys looking forward to that? Just kind of a different venue and obviously a lot of history there and then, you know, the military angle and all that sort of thing. Well, I'm really I'm really looking forward to it. You know, I, I really like home games, but I also really like uh, road games. So to go up there, I'm excited for that, you know, just to see, you know, their, uh, their place really, you know, Army, you know, the base, you know, and whatever else we do up there, I'm really excited for that and excited for the game. Terry's uh, Terry, uh, Terry, Nick Brooks. Go ahead, Nick. Go ahead, Jamal. Uh, um, you mentioned trying to gel as a unit. Uh, um, kind of talk about the normal person, um, what that means, how you guys gel or able to um, start doing what you guys have been doing compared to, you know, maybe the first two games of the season. Uh. Well, football, you know, football is a three-level game. You got the D-line, then you got the linebackers, you got the secondary, you know, and this new pieces in all three levels, you know, just us getting used to one another, you know, playing off of one another, you know, trusting one another, you know, and executing our job together, you know. It's it's something to do at a high level, you know, and once you start to uh, come together and, you know, be able to do that, that's when we start to gel and do the things that we were doing last year and continue to do the things that we've been doing the last few weeks. Harry Jamal from Montgomery again. How much, um, if it does, you know, help that last, you guys just played them last year. I mean, does that tape you kind of refer back to that at all, or do you just kind of start new uh, with, with this team from this year? Uh, it's a little bit of both. You know, we're gonna look back uh, at the tape from last year because you know they're still a hard nosed, you know, football team. I like to run the uh, variations of the option, and they're also, you know. They're doing a lot of new things this year, so we're going to also, you know, evaluate the new tape, you know, and try to, you know, get a feel for that too. Hey, Derek, it's Jamal at uh, WCFA in Montgomery. Uh, this week could turn out to be a huge week for the offensive line, uh, obviously with, with the potential weather at play at, at West Point. Um, knowing that you guys have been playing a lot better lately, how much confidence does that give you going into Saturday's game, knowing that even if the team has to rely on you all a little bit more than they usually do, that you can get the job done? Um, I think week by week we just been uh putting in the work, getting better. And uh as far as like the weather, I feel like regardless of the weather, we're gonna be ready to play. If we gotta run the ball more, we're gonna do it. If we gotta pass the ball more, we're gonna do it. So whatever we have to do to get the job done. Hey Derek, it's John Johnson at the Dustin Eagle. When Kamani has games like he's been having recently, like Saturday, for example, going over two hundred yards. He gets the headlines, but how much pride do you, you guys have in opening those holes for him, and how fun is it for y'all? Uh, it's very fun. Just uh, making those holes for him, and uh, whenever he makes his read and you see him run down the field, 
it's great to see knowing that uh, we we contributed to that and uh, and his success. Hey, it's Greg Stevenson from AL.com. Um, Coach said you guys have really improved as a line as the season has gone on. How do you uh, how do you assess that? How much better? And what have you guys gotten better at? Um, I just think uh, with the with it being like last year. Uh, we lost three starters, so I think that the main thing has just been us trying to gel as a unit because there's three new starters on the line. And uh, like I said, week by week, we've just been getting better, just paying attention to uh, the little things and uh, just trying to avoid negative plays. Like these past two games, we haven't given up any sacks, and then uh, TFLs have gone down. So we're just trying to eliminate negative plays so we can stay ahead of the sticks and be successful. Uh, Army is a team that really likes to control the clock, obviously, with their running game and that sort of thing. Just how big a key is it for you guys to do that as well when you have the ball? Oh, that's huge. It's huge. The possession uh, clock-wise will be huge. Uh, we have to make sure that whenever we're in the red zone, we have to score as many points as possible because, uh, obviously, like you said, the possessions are limited. So uh, just making sure we don't beat ourselves with penalties and uh, turnovers, just converting on third downs and just scoring a lot of points. Thank you. You, uh, Nick Brooks with WTBY down in Dothan. You talk about uh, allowing no sacks. Has Gunner been taking care of you guys as an offensive line to really want to keep him from getting sacked in the backfield? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, he's actually taking us out to eat Wednesday. I don't know where. But, uh, no, nah, it's uh, anytime you keep the QB up and uh, clean, it's always a good thing. And uh, he's more, a lot more confident in the pocket, and just we gotta keep we just gotta keep blocking for him.